Hello there. Welcome to Jedi Geek. My name is Josh. Today we're going to be talking about an article over on Screen Rant. Is old Captain America dead? What did happen to Steve Rogers after Endgame? Falcon and Winter Soldier raises some big questions about what happened to Captain America after Avengers Endgame and whether or not he passed away. The events of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Episode 1, New World Order, raised some big questions about exactly what happened to old Captain America after Avengers Endgame, including a rather sad one. Is Steve Rogers dead? Well, it's set a few months later in the MCU timeline, Falcon and the Winter Soldier is very much a direct follow-up to Endgame, and more specifically, the climactic moment where an old Steve Rogers handed his shield to Sam Wilson. Steve got his happy ending with Peggy Carter, in another timeline, though it's a point even Endgame directors and writers didn't agree on, but viewers don't get to see what ultimately becomes of him. It remains unclear if that's something Falcon and the Winter Soldier will fully address, but Captain America legacy weighs heavily over the show, and in particular Sam. While he's still carrying out contract work for the government as Falcon, he gives back the shield declaring it's time for new heroes at a memorial service held in Steve's honor. It's clear then that the world doesn't really know what has happened to Captain America, and Sam isn't giving his old friend secrets away. What's not clear, though, is where Cap went or what he did after passing on the shield to Falcon. Did he simply continue living his more peaceful existence, go back to the other timeline that he seemingly came from? or might have gone to outer space, Falcon and the Winter Soldier teases several possibilities. Is Captain America dead? Since it's clear that the old Captain America is not active in any way, nor are his whereabouts known to anyone besides Sam and Bucky, this does allow for the possibility that Steve Rogers really has died, which would fit with the service being held in the honor as a new Captain America, exhibit is open at the Masonian, centered around his shield taking pride of place. It wouldn't be too surprising if Steve had passed away, as by the time of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Captain America would be well around 105-106 years old, and that's before factoring in his going back in time and then living through the period he was previously frozen for. That takes his age to be around 180 years old. And even allowing for the super soldier serum slowly down the process, it's unclear just how much longer Steve could live for compared to an average human. It's sad then, but plausible that Steve has died, but it's also far from definite. Is Old Cap back in hiding? Perhaps more likely that Steve Rogers being dead is that after handing over the shield to Falcon in Avengers Endgame, he goes back into hiding. Following the events of Captain America Civil War, which he opposed to the U.S. government, Sokovia Accords, and later broke prisoners out of the raft, Steve went on the lam with Natasha Romanoff and Sam Wilson, forming the Secret Avengers. While they carried out missions, they also presumably had to lay low for large periods of time in various corners of the country and even the world. It's known that Steve spent at least some time in Wakanda, but not many other details about his time has been revealed, and certainly not on screen. Steve presumably has a lot of contacts, and so if you wanted to stay in the timeline, he likely had no trouble finding somewhere, perhaps even Wakanda itself, where he could go into hiding again and live out his days peacefully. Could Steve Rogers have jumped the timelines again? Going with the idea that Steve Rogers time with Peggy Carter was in another timeline, then that means he somehow had to find a way to hop back over to the main timeline in Avengers Endgame. Following that, then it isn't totally out of the question that he still had more pin particles left and was able to hop back over, although it is arguably a little more unlikely. It's not certain just how different the other timeline was, but the implication is that Peggy still died around the same time. So it isn't like Steve would be returning back to her. It's similarly unknown just what kind of life Steve had in that other timeline. Obviously a fool and happy one with Peggy, but if he had to stay in secret for the entire time, 
then there may not be any need for him to return, except, of course, unless he wanted to live out his days in the home he built with Peggy. Given how complicated the idea of Captain America even switching back to one timeline is, though, let alone then crossing back over, it does seem more of a stretch. The Captain America Moon Theory Finally, Falcon and the Winter Soldier has another theory about what happens to Captain America after Avengers Endgame. He's on the moon. When Sam is talking with Joaquin Tours, the latter mentions that several conspiracy theories regarding Steve Rogers' whereabouts have sprung up, including the idea that he is on a secret base on the moon. The comment is very obvious, ridiculous, and meant to be a playful joke, but it could at the very least be a hint at something to come. As shown in past MCU movies, there is life on other planets and in the same time frame that Falcon and the Winter Soldier takes place. Nick Fury is up in space running his own operation. In Marvel Comics, meanwhile, the Inhuman had a base on the moon while it could also link to the Watcher, a being who observes all earthly going-ons and who will appear in Marvel What If show on Disney+. Even with all that, it is very unlikely that old Steve Rogers is actually on the moon. But like, say, Mysterio claiming to be from the multiverse, there are often grains of truth in most things in the MCU. Some, while it may not be Steve Rogers, it could be something in truth having so many possibilities for where Steve is and what happened after Avenger Endgame plays into Marvel hands. By not committing to Captain America being dead or anything else, then it leaves the door at least slightly ajar to do more with old Steve in future. There may not be plans for Chris Evans to return as Captain America, but if it were to happen, then it's easier to have essentially a blank slate to work with, rather than the Falcon and the Winter Soldier confirming his death or his presence on the moon.